Okay, I'm going to this drag queen thing at the Lansdale Library. Got this in. And we shall see what happens. Lots of people here. Lots. Lots. something in your teeth oh, here I? yeah thank you so I am putting on the flat earth display directly after this presentation okay okay so okay. if you want me to say something I will okay okay um, yeah I absolutely. think it's of interest okay. um, yeah so, but um, <laughs> there was like back and forth on how that was reported and I was like I she is definitely right that it's you know, I'm trying to see what they're trying to do. Right. You want to go first to the performer? And in their performance attire, they go by sheet. That's the way, like, short thing. I am. Where's Karen go? So, I'm sorry. I was just thinking. So, what are you putting on afterwards? Flat Earth. Okay. Okay. Yeah, at 12.30 okay. to 3. I have. I signed up. I think I'm, let the, I'm the one who let the cat out of the bag on this. Really? That's yeah. Because you saw that it was happening. Well, because I got the slot right after her, and, I'm, yeah. and I emailed a bunch of my friends, and uh, so we're out here just to make awareness, that's all. Okay. It's not that we hate anybody. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I was told that this person, Annie, is an entertainer. Okay, so is that what you're telling the kids? Is it an entertainer thing? Can you laugh at her? Yeah. Yeah. Can you? Is that is that what it's about? Yeah. No, it's about them promoting confused gender confusion. That's what it's about. Can we grab you before you uh, head in there? Can we stop you before you? Are you going into there right now? Or no, I'm not going to go in until 12:30. Okay. I'm going to find my buddies and uh, we're going to pray and we're going to sing. Can I talk to you before that prayer? Sure. Okay. Hi. How you doing? All right, so just look at me and ignore the camera. It's not live or anything. Okay, do I have any stuff in my teeth? No, God, yeah, I just ate the door. I got out of the car. Don't worry, I was alive. I said you. You did. Okay. Um, can you tell me your first and last name? My name is Marilyn Teed. Can you spell it for me? M A R I L Y N T E E D. Okay, and are you at the a local group here? Like no, there's. Uh, I'm in the Flat Earth community, and uh, my uh, YouTube channel is Marilyn Spirit level and I'm the one who brings my banners into Lansdale at bike night and at the hot rod night and I walk up and down and I teach people about the reality of the flat earth it's not a religious concept it's a scientific one so that's what I do and many people around here know me I signed up to be in the 1230 till 3 o'clock slot and uh, they said, well, this drag queen is not going to be done till 12 o'clock. I'm there, what? A drag queen is coming? Oh, and I thought that was something that they do in, like, Hollywood, you know. But this is our little town of Lansdale, so what's going on? So we had some online conversations. Um, a guy named Steve Petrowski, he put up a, an event page. 
because we need to pray about this. This is concerning our children. So I was told on there that Andy is a an entertainer. I'm there. Okay, so is it going to be presented as an entertainment, or is this something that they want to promote gender confusion? So with little children, they're very impressionable. So are you going to say that this is great? This is normal. This is like you can just be. You know, you don't have to take a role in life. You don't have to be a father. You don't have to be the head of a household. You don't have to be a parent. You can do like, I guess you can do that. But are you going to tell children that? Well, what about the? What I've read is that they want to promote acceptance and and anti-bullying. What What are your thoughts on that message? Well, I I understand Annie does some kind of MC pro,、uh, program over at this brewery. Hey, that's great. I can choose to go in there or not. That's fine. Little children wouldn't go to that, right? So that's what she wants to. He or she. I don't even know what you call that. But he or she wants to do that. That's fine. You know, that's entertainment. But this is a little bit different, isn't it? What do you have to say to that message that they're trying to promote that, acceptance by having her here? It's not the message of acceptance. It's a message of gender confusion.、Um, and do you、um, are coming out with a group today with? Yeah, my sign is very innocuous. It just says "drag queen" in our library now. I just bring awareness, okay? But I'm going to be praying about this with a group, and、uh, we're going to be singing hymns. And、uh, because we think that our society needs needs some sort of、um, normalcy, where children can grow up in security and know that this is the way life is. It's natural. It's the way it was created to be. All right. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Can we can we just get a shot? Yes, I'm here in this cold. Yeah, that's all it is. And we're gonna sing hymns. Okay, thank you. So I gotta find Steve. There he is. This is Matthew Scripture, Matthew seven twenty-one to twenty-three. How you doing, Joel? Well, All right. Marilyn, how are you? Thank you so much for coming. I'm good to see. Good to see you. Is Ken here? Yeah, here. Yeah, he's right. Oh, Ken! I didn't、But、see has, you. How has, are you? Oh, it's good to see you. It has prayer meeting again. Good to see you. Hi, Jane. Hi. This is like the good old days. I know. I miss them. It's a good subject, but that's why I said to、uh, Steve, "Are you going to get a rally together? I mean, come on." <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Doing good. I know. I know. I should have worn my. I'll do it. We should have worn our camos. <laughs> I just gave an interview. Well, oh, you got your camo on. My camo. What's your name? Tom. Tom. Hi, I'm Marilyn. Marilyn. Yeah, nice to meet you. Who else is here that I know? Anybody? Here, let me pull your coat down. It's stuck up or something. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate that. I wanted to see if, the, excuse me, I want to see if there's anybody else here I know. Do I know anybody here? Do I? I I don't go to church anymore because none of them preach the truth. None of them. None of them do. So I'm Marilyn. Paula. We met. Paula. Yes. How are you? It's good to see you. Thanks. Yeah. Does every does anybody want a sign? Does anybody want to hold a sign? No, okay. I made two. An amazing voice. Children are yeah. No. Drag queen in our life. Yeah, it's just an awareness thing. On the back,、oh. I got our hymns. Oh. Okay. Let's say. I think it's a really crowded. You can try and get over there. You trying to just go get some books or something? 
No. Uh, you want to see I, a drag queen? No, no. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm a Catholic. Okay, you want to stand here with us? We're going to well, sing hymns and pray. I heard that to go in there and and take the seats so the kids, so they can't oh. read. Well, know. go ahead and try. Go ahead. I thought, well, why, don't, why does this group go in there to well, sit in Well, we didn't want to cause a scene. We just wanted to pray. So we didn't want to cause a scene, really. So... All those people come from all over the oh, country. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. ship them in. They yeah. fly them in. Oh, yeah, I know and that. And so you want to try and go in that front door? I would try it if I were you. Go ahead. If that's what you want to do, go as your heart is led. Yeah, because the, they're supposed to uh, read books to the kids. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you now have in, three in daddies. Satanic yeah. books, yeah. Well, well, you know, you have three daddies. That's and... satanic, isn't it? Oh, yeah, whatever. It's not natural. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Well, you can stand with us or you can go over in there. Well, I'm going to... I thought there'd be people blocking them. Yeah, well, we can't really do that because it's a public space and they got the cops out. Look, they're expecting violence. They have uh, yeah. the ambulances, so we're not doing that. Did you guys uh, go and get interviewed? Did you get an interview? Oh, I went and did it. I told them who I was, and I was going to be in there afterwards. And they said, okay, we'll talk to you. I don't know if it'll get on. I recorded it myself. Brother Steve, I'm going to ask you if you will open our activities this morning here in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for bringing each and every one of us together. We give you the glory, Father. It is because of you, the great King, the one and only King. Yes. We thank you. You are allowing this to happen so that Christ can be known. Yes, Lord Jesus. We pray right now against this wickedness. We pray for each and every one of these lost sinners to be saved by grace through faith, O oh Lord. We were once just like them. And we really, really pray that their hearts and their minds will be opened, Lord. We pray for blind eyes to be opened. And we thank you. If it's just one person, Lord. Lord, we pray to come here beautifully and lovingly and boldly. Lord, we just pray that more people on their side will come so that way they can have a free chance to hear the gospel. Thank you, Father. Protect us. Protect them, O oh Lord. Protect the police officers and the local government and library officials. Protect them, but also lead them to opening up their mind and hearts towards you. Fill them with your Holy Ghost, O oh Lord. We thank you. Protect us from... The enemy, O oh Lord, protect us from this wicked world and help us continue to do what we must do to proclaim the gospel in our words, in our thoughts, in our actions. Help Christ be known. We thank you, Lord, and we pray this, as always, in the matchless name of King Jesus Christ. Amen. Shoot! Amen. Mayor Herbert, Lansdale Board of Supervisors, Library Administrator, Mr. Meyer, and the good citizens of Lansdale. We are here as ambassadors of King Jesus, who rules over all the nations of this world. This is a solemn and dangerous moment in Lansdale's history, a turning point. We have consciously decided to defy this king and go against his prayer and good will in the scripture upon which you all swear upon when you take your oath of office. John Adams, signer of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, that's really gross, isn't it? And look who's holding it. He must be 12 years old. Does he even know what it is? You know, it's illegal. I still think it's illegal. It is illegal. Yeah. So why are they allowing that? 
There's a there's a kid with an orange hat, a blue coat, and a yellow sign, and it says feminism supports pedophilia. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. As a civil magistrate, you are God's minister to us for good. Christians, you can come on this side of the street in the actual, you know, talking to the people for the people. Because I'm not a bad person. But to the evil. What the hell is the fruit of the power? I had a cross the street. 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 Support pedophiles. No, we're against them. And why is that? Well, you're you're support pedophilia. So you're against it? Yes. Oh, well, see, now that's funny because I have a sign too, and they said, Oh, what sign are you on? I'm just like informing people, and we didn't want to be like militant. So, yeah, okay, thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, it's bad, it's bad. I feel as an abomination to God. The king has a very solid message for you about children. And what he says is not good. They're against it. They're against pedophilia. But it didn't look that way. But down the bottom, he's because he's saying that this is bad. He's saying it's bad. See, yeah. But you have to look. Huh? Yeah, I made that holder. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just walk around and record. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. But this is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I have, the, I have the words. I have the words today. if you want them. Today the children are not being I have this one too. The needles. You want to do it again? It's, that's beautiful. But as we speak, being If you're going to sing, yell at me. I'll bring it over. Your decision to allow this to continue. God loves all. Yes, that's true. But see, I was told that this guy, this Annie guy, is an entertainer. So if they go in there and they, uh, this Annie reads these kids, are the kids allowed to laugh at him and say, this is entertaining, haha, ha, this is fun? Is that what they're doing? He's in there reading about inclusivity and diversity. Yeah, but. That is a message all children to learn. Yeah, but. I do not like it anymore, thank you very much. Oh, you don't want to hear it. But he's an entertainer. And he, he goes down to the brewery. You're an entertainer. He's at the brewery, see? Yeah, he's Good, good, do that. But little children don't go in the brewery. See, this is about gender confusion. No, it's not. Yeah, it Get is. Get the fuck out of my face. How about that? Don't, just don't be violent, honey, because I'm going recording. You kids get bullied and die because you won't accept no, you people for who they are. No, they should, yeah. they should be no, in yeah, the brewery. You should children, children that bully people no, because they are different. Don't. Bullshit. They don't. No, because, because you're you bullying me. I don't, I'm not you. bullying you. I'm bullying you. I'm not bullying you. Bullying you. <laughs> well, you're cursing and I'm not. Okay, that's not bullying. That's me being passionate about it. Oh, you call it passion? Yeah, you got passion yeah. for your misguided readings. Really? Yeah. Do you know love what? Love my neighbor. Do you know what's oh, wait, happening? It, 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 say, you know who neighbors. I am? Let me no, tell you who I, I am. Okay. Who you are. I am. I am, really I am putting on the flat Earth display at 12:30. Okay, here. go find the flat Earth display. I'm going to put on the flat Earth display at 12:30 in here today. Like pro flat Earth? Yeah, I teach it. 
Yeah. I teach it. Do people oh. still exist? Wow. No. Yeah. No. We are scientists. We are scientists. Go on. Powdered wigs and makeup in the 1800s. Right, right. right. Yeah, you know why they had powdered wigs? Why did they? I would buy two of the for you. When was the last time you went to the edge? Yes. Listen to this man. Good. Nathan, you have anything coming out of your mouth. Fine. That's fine with you. Absolutely. Yep. But there, there was a, um, there was a alopecia back then, and we're finding oh, out that there's reasons why they had to wear the wigs. But it's not makeup. They didn't wear makeup. They didn't powder themselves. They didn't wear. Yeah, there was, there was, there was reasons. Their clothes weren't feminine. No, no, no. You need to look into it. Sure, they look pretty. You need to look into it. Okay. Research that. Research what oh, exactly. the globe yes. looks like. <laughs> I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. And, and there's proof it's flat. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What drugs are you on? It's not on any drugs. I'm very smart. My dad was a math teacher and a pilot. You're smart? I have a college degree. You're smart, huh? I'm smart. Is there, is there an SH in smart? Or no, how do you that's spell what that? you said. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. So you're smart. <laughs> See, all you can do is mock. I'm not. You you're not very smart. I heard a say the children. I heard a say the Okay. We got a little Chucky over there. Oh. 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 God loves drag? Really? Why does he love drag? What's your name, by the way? Why does God love drag? What's your name? My name's Marilyn. My name's Nicholas. How are Hi, you? Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. I want to. I just want to say one thing. So, first of all, there is no. Just so you know, there's no scripture that you can point out to me that would say that Jesus, that homosexuality is sin. There's no. There's no actual scripture in the Bible that says drag is sin. So, if you know what sin is, and I'm assuming that you know what sin is, right? Yeah. Sin is what separates us from God, right? Yeah. So if. Jesus never preached on homosexuality. There was actually not a word for homosexual that was tra properly translated. I don't know what Bible you've been reading. Well, well, give me a scripture and I can talk to you about well, it. Well, why did he destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Because of bestiality. Oh, bestiality? Yeah. You mean when the men wanted to come and look for men so in actually, Lot's house? Actually, if you look at the scripture, just to let you know, if you look at the scripture, yeah. that man was actually was, was winged. Was, was eight, if you look at the translation of the scripture, that person was not that, a human. It that was whole an angel. city, the whole city, was in yeah, that. You know That's why the whole city was destroyed. Do, do you know? Do you know what was going on during? Do you know what was going on at that time? The context of that scripture. A lot of bad stuff. Just to let you know what the context of the scripture is, because people have to know that when they're reciting scripture, the context of the scripture was about was about sodomy. If we're going to have true dialogue, I really want to talk to you. Because it's very important when you recite scripture and you say something that is true and it's God's will. So the reality of the situation is that, that was, there was a lot more going on than two men. At that time, two men were not allowed to openly have a relationship. It was about sodomy, rape. During that context of that time, people were offering their bodies oh, up to God. so you're putting it in the context of violence. Because it was... So cause, cause okay, and no. No, no. That's not the way it was designed and created to be. It was designed and created. You know what I'm saying to you, though? Yeah, I do. And I've heard those arguments. But, but also, but, no, no. It's not about well, the violence. Well, you can't twist scripture into what you want it to be. And you can't either. Well, I, well, See, you know so what? that's your take on it. Okay. And you have to be responsible for what you believe. And I have to be responsible for what I believe. And I, just, I, do not, can... I do not condemn this Annie. She can or he can do whatever he wants yeah. in the in the uh, brewery down there at nighttime. But when you do it in front of children and you say this is normal and good and right and it natural. Is. It is. No. Jesus never preached it's on it. It's not natural. Actually, it's that's not that, natural. That's like, what is natural? What is, is, is the natural? way things that were created to be. I have be. a question for you, honestly speaking. A real question. So, when you bring it to children and you say that this is good, 
then children are impressed okay, by that. Okay, and guess what? Had That's I, fine. You do what you want yeah, in you your privacy you in and your do own what home. You want. And but do when what you come want. out in and public do what you want. to little children, and do what you want. that's not and good. And do what you want. And let me tell you something. I have a question. Would it be natural for you to sleep with a woman to have that? No. no. Because you don't have that, that, that desire, I correct? Don't, no, I don't think it's do you right. Have, well, do you have the desire to sleep with a woman? No. Okay. You don't have that desire, right? So it's, it's not, not natural. Right to do. You. But what, what makes so it right? What's the morality? Jesus never preached on it. So guess Homosexuality what? Homosexuality is not sin. Drag I'm, is not I'm sin. Gonna, that's your question. I'm going to tell you one I'm, thing. Yeah. In the vaccines, they are putting sex hormones in the vaccines and giving them to little newborn okay, children. Okay, so now, now, let me tell you something. So I research get, that. I want to get... I research get, that. Uh, listen to me. That's I, I, why there's gender confusion. They want to reduce the population no. and look at the Georgia no. Guidestones. So, Trans people, Georgia gay people, there were trans. Guidestones. I, I want you to They Google. want to reduce the population. Listen, listen to me. Listen That's to me. why they're doing all Trans this. Trans people have been around for thousands of yeah, years. Yeah, and that doesn't make it right. It's it's sin. Guess what? You know what the word? There was no Aramaic word in Jesus' tongue for homosexual. There's no word. You know what word they used? They they, they translated malakoi, which is a Greek word for effeminate prostitute, into homosexual. So you have to know the context, and you're Aramaic, and you're Hebrew and Greek, and you don't, so you're preaching on things that you do not know. You don't know, and I swear you will be, you well, will be judged. Hold on, you will be judged. You at, will be judged. At 12.30? You will be judged I want you hate. to come in the library at 12.30 because that's where I'm going to be teaching the flat earth. That's really why I'm here. For To do what? I, I teach the flat earth. There's scientific proof that the Earth is not a spinning ball. It's a flat plane. Okay, well, you know, I'd love to hear your opinion. I'm here spreading love. I know that this I'm is love. I'm spreading lies. love. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I, I am. Hope so. Hey, you. Mind your own business. Hey, that's... Upside down means satanic. Why don't you talk about the Did you know that? Anybody want to have a conversation? Anybody want to have a conversation? The flat earth will be taught in here at 12.30. By me. I'm teaching the flat earth at 12.30 in the library. Yes. I am teaching Flat Earth at 12.30 in the library. Who's Flat Earth? The Flat Earth, what we live on. I am teaching the Flat Earth at 12.30 in the library. I am teaching the Flat Earth in the library at 12.30. Okay? I'll be teaching the Flat Earth in the library at 12.30. I'll be setting it up. See, I told you, there she is. I'll be teaching the Flat Earth at 12.30 in the library, right after this. I will be teaching the Flat Earth in the library at 12.30. I have banners and scientific information. I'll be teaching the Flat Earth in the library at 12.30. I will be teaching the Flat Earth in the library at 12.30. Isn't it? You don't. I'll be teaching the flat earth in the library at 12:30. Are we going to sing again? Anybody want to sing again? All right. 
We're Steve-O. Let's sing another round of Amazing Grace. We're Steve-O. We're Steve. Hey! How are you? Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're packing. You're packing today. <laughs> I know you are. Always. <laughs> I know. I feel so safe around you. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's sing. Jane, let's sing again. Yeah, should we sing ama amazing? Yeah, and I have in Christ alone, too. I don't know that. It's easy. In Christ alone, our hope is found. Why don't we do that? Want to do that? Where's the microphone? Somebody get on there. Where's Ken? Where's Ken? Where's Ken? The follower of Jesus Christ. And I actually have a history of homosexuality. Wait, this we time in my life, whenever he's done, is there like a schedule? With a friend I when I was younger. Where's Steve? We want to sing. Right we want to sing again. Let me tell you, that destroyed me. That destroyed my. Well, my joy, it destroyed exactly who I was built to be and designed to be. We talked a bit here today about how abortion is wrong because it murders a child in the womb, somebody who's created in the image of God. Homosexuality, removing the distinctions between men and women, is wrong for the very same reason. It says in Genesis 1.27, that men and women together bear the image of God. And so the reason that it is wrong to murder a human is the same reason that it is wrong to uh, engage in homosexual behavior, to remove these distinctions. I actually repent. Right? I am here as somebody who can tell you that there is hope for, for everyone who is engaging in this wickedness rebellion against the living God. There is hope, there is purity, there is forgiveness for the sin of abortion, for the sin of homosexuality, but it's in Jesus Christ alone. It is only in turning, only in admitting. It says that if we confess our sins, then Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. But we can only be cleansed by confessing, that means to yeah. say the same thing. It means to agree with God, to agree with His understanding of morality, and say that I am wrong, Lord, and you are right. That is what I had to do in my sin. In my homosexual behavior, I had to confess that I was wrong and God was right. Now we can shout as loud as we want. As my brother said, on the day when Jesus Christ returns, you will not be shouting anymore. My friends, there is a limit to the amount of nonsense that the true and the living God will put up with. There comes a day when every life will be judged by his word. And he will ask you, what did you do when you had the chance to repent? live here, so just don't bump it! Ah. Ken, we want to sing! We want to sing! 
<laughs> Who's going to speak? Oh, I heard him already. Yeah, really. Did you want to sing first? Whatever. Okay, what's the sing? We'll sing and then I'll sing. What do you want to sing? Well, sing what do we want? In Christ alone? We, we can sing in Christ alone. Let's do it. There we are, we're hot. In Christ, Christ alone, alone, my hope, hope is found. He is my great life strength, my alone. My eternal stone, this solid ground. Young will take this life in storm. Let us your love, what does the peace? When this has my thunder doll, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, for the sun and heart, this flame, this gift of love and righteousness. Scorned by the ones he came to save Till on the cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid Here in the death of Christ I live there in the ground his body lay light of the world by darkness slain then burning forth in glorious day up from the grave he rose again and as he stands in victory since curse is lost its grip on me for I am his, and he is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me. From life first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I'll stand. Let him have it, Joel. You know, we stand in the power of Jesus Christ. He is the one who died and rose again. He was dead, and now he lives. Yeah. And if you want to argue with that, go ahead and argue that, but you will not argue with him when you stand before him yeah, yeah. as your judge. Yes. You will either embrace him now as your savior, or you will face him yes. as your judge. Yes. I urge you this day to consider Christ, consider his word. You know, we're standing here, we're talking about things like Woo! right and wrong. You must ask yourself this question. Who gets to decide what's right and what's wrong? Do you get to decide? Do I get to decide? Do we, do we go vote on it and now we decide what's right and wrong? My friends, Jesus Christ, the Word of God, he, he proclaimed his Father as the one who defines right and wrong. My friends, right and wrong exist. I read an article last night, someone saying, well, I'm, I'm, I'm raising my children without a concept of sin. But everybody believes in some sort of sin. Everyone believes there's such a yes. thing as right and wrong. Who gets to define it? And how do you know, standing there right now, how do you know that you're not on the wrong side? I would
would love to know this. How do you know that you're not on the wrong side because you have a majority? Because yes. you believe you have the Supreme Court? My friends, they are raping babies yes. in South Africa right now oh, in Southern Africa because they terrible. believe that it will deliver them from AIDS. That's what they believe. How do you know what you believe is true? How do you know this? My friends. How do you Jesus know? Christ, when he, was here, he said, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Do you know the truth? And how do you even know what the truth is? My friends, if you are on the wrong side of this argument, it's, it's a lot more than standing on the sides of the, of, the, of the street here and who's right and who's wrong and who's louder. It's a lot more than that, my friends. It's a lot more than that. This has to do with the eternal life. This has to do with your eternal destiny, my friends. Don't you understand this? Don't you get it? This is, this is small potatoes here today. But one day, you will stand before your judge. And what are you going to say on that day? When he says, depart from me, I never knew you. My friends. My friends. My friends. My friends. I urge you this day to love Jesus Christ, to love his word. Because you know what? You can never love his creation without loving the creator. Woo! And God himself right. created these babies. Creator. And if you hate these babies and you hate these children, you will hate him. And my friends, God is no Santa Claus. He's not, he's not the God you want just sitting up in heaven who can't do anything. You know, he knows when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, but he really can't do anything about it. No, my friends, this is a God who will judge all of us. And in that day, our signs and our yelling and our songs will do nothing whatsoever. This Jesus Christ, this God who judges everything, one day he will judge. And then that will be a different animal altogether from this little thing today. This is so small. But standing before God, you better think about it. It's going to happen. Yes. You think about that, my yes. friends. You will stand before God one day. Yes. You better think about it. Yes. When we've 
loved ones need to be role models for our children. Yes.